a proposed wellness complex in Bemidji and an amateur sports commission was the subject of discussion during a public forum this afternoon. Uh, Josh Peterson sat in on the meeting and explains the challenges that lie ahead for the project. With a $10 million gift from Sanford Health on the table, Greater Bemidji says now is the time to act. Through the use of public meetings, Greater Bemidji and Sanford Health answered questions on the proposed wellness center, something that is expected to have a large economic impact. The new tournaments that could be held based on the new facility, it's about 9,900 hotel night stays and about a $3 million economic impact. The proposed complex would feature an aquatic center, a multi-purpose field house, and a two-sheet iceplex. Sanford Health would build and be in charge of the wellness center, while the remaining portions of the complex would be run by Greater Bemidji and a newly formed Youth Sports Commission, which would be funded by a portion of a proposed 2% hospitality tax. The hospitality tax is not for the facility. The hospitality tax is to create an amateur sports commission. Two-thirds of the hospitality tax would go to the amateur sports commission that would promote, encourage uh, events and, and uh, tournaments here in our community. With wide support for the proposed tax to help the project, a portion of the new tax would go to help with expenses at the Sanford Center. But for the project to happen, the Bemidji City Council needs to be a key player. We want them to be a key partner in the project, and I think they're, they're taking their time asking all the right questions and, and, and doing the research they need to do to make sure it's right for the community as well. Questions throughout the meeting stemmed from discussion on the proposed tax and issues surrounding the Sanford Event Center. Could the Amateur Sports Commission still fund it and put them kind of where the community had thought they were to be in at the end? And why do they have to be out there? Other questions posed by those in attendance had to do with details surrounding the Youth Sports Commission. Are there any public details and semantics available? How many people are on the commission? While many questions were answered, some still remain. And the hope for Greater Bemidji is that more questions are raised during the next public meeting. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. There will be two more public meetings held in December and possibly a third session in January to discuss the project. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.